nations have understood the power of air superiority. The first is Russia. The country has been at war with Ukraine for almost two years and the Russian Air Force has been operating with impunity. Moscow's air power has been deployed heavily. Russia continues to dominate the airspace over Ukraine and remains a major threat to NATO. China has learned a lot from the Ukraine war. Beijing has modernized and indigenized its air force at a rapid pace. Chinese fighter planes are often used for intimidation, especially towards Taiwan. Over the last two years, Russia and China have gotten closer than ever. They call it a quote-unquote no-limits friendship. They regularly hold air patrols. Aircraft of both the countries participate in live-fire drills. And this has become concerning for the West and its allies. For almost two decades, America has enjoyed air superiority like no other. The US Air Force was the first to get stealth jets. They're also the only air force in the world which operates two stealth fighter jets. These are the F-22 and the F-35. The F-22 remains the most advanced air superiority fighter and is only flown by the American Air Force. On the other hand, the F-35 is flown by multiple NATO members and American allies. But Western powers are looking to deepen their cooperation as China and Russia grow closer. The United Kingdom, Italy and Japan have banded together. They want to develop a new stealth fighter aircraft. They're calling it the Tempest or the Global Air Combat Program. The trilateral cooperation will aim at reducing manufacturing costs and sharing crucial technology. This will also reduce the dependence on America. For one country on its own there are significant risks in supplying the technology and finance needed for a cutting-edge, high-performance fighter jet. In this regard, the Global Combat Air Program is a historic program that allows the allied nations of Japan, the United Kingdom and Italy to share the costs and risks associated with using this superior technology. The only problem is that the Tempest won't see its first flight for at least a decade. For now, the Allies will have to settle with US stealth jets. So what exactly is a stealth fighter jet? Stealth aircraft are considered fifth generation technology. They have elements in their design that make them stealthy. They have reduced thermal signature. Stealth aircraft reflect signals away from the radar, making it difficult for radars to track them. Stealth fighters also have special paint that can also absorb radar energy. This allows these jets to fly undetected for longer, giving them an edge over the adversary. Every major geopolitical power wants stealth fighter aircraft and the race for air superiority is heating up. There are only three countries that manufacture their own stealth aircraft, the US, China and Russia. Russia and China are allied against America. However, in terms of stealth technology and air superiority, America has a clear lead. America was the first nation to develop stealth technology. They now have two stealth fighters and one stealth bomber with another parked in the hangar. The backbone of the US stealth fighter fleet is the F-22 followed by the F-35. The B-2 bomber is the strategic stealth bomber that the US Air Force operates. Trailing behind America in stealth technology is China with its J-20 stealth fighter. And then there's Russia with its Su-57 fighter jet, which is still being flown in small numbers. Moscow has also unveiled a new stealth fighter, the Su-75, but it might take years for it to become operational. However, there are a few countries that have almost started their own stealth program. There's Turkey with its Khan stealth aircraft, which is still in the ground trials phase. 
and then there's the joint project between South Korea and Indonesia. The aircraft is called KF-21 and is undergoing flight trials. The future of air power is in stealth technology and nations are catching up. For long, NATO members and Western allies have depended on America for air power. But now, alliances are being formed to jointly make stealth jets. France, Germany and Spain have announced a stealth fighter program called the Future Combat Air System. South Korea and Indonesia are going their own way. India says it wants to develop its own stealth fighter. The UK, Japan and Italy have already formalized their partnership. The reason? The threat from Russia and China. The risks and problems from Europe to the Indo-Pacific are clear for all to see. And so it is enormously important that we join together uh, across our nations to produce this kind of security for our skies. The US won't mind its allies developing stealth technology because these projects are aimed against Russia and China. But what about the No Limits Partnership? Russia and China may seem close, but are they close enough? Yes, they routinely hold joint drills, but they rarely work together on military technology. And why is that? Because they don't trust each other. China has a history of stealing Russian fighter jet technology and reverse engineering it to make their own jets. Western allies have a clear edge. They have reliable and trustworthy partners. Japan, UK and Italy are an example. But for now, the Tempest program looks ambitious and it looks like the US will continue to dominate the stealth fighter race for air superiority.